Well, also tonight, D.C. Councilmember Marion Barry held his annual turkey giveaway today. Hundreds of people lined up in southeast Washington for a free turkey. Well, controversy has marred this event in the past, and Stephen Cheetah is there now with an update on how it went this year. Stephen. Allison, there is controversy again in what can only be characterized as a monumental flip-flop. Marion Barry went in fewer than 24 hours from saying he would never divulge who gave him $40,000 for turkeys to putting up this banner, which clearly names the sponsors of the turkey giveaway. Thank you, sweetheart. Happy holidays. Okay. They arrived early, waited a long time, and finally got what they wanted. How about it four How many? Three. Nice Hundreds of Ward 8 residents came for a free turkey for Thanksgiving dinner, courtesy of Marion Berry's annual turkey giveaway. Look at that line around the corner in line just for a turkey. The giveaway has gotten rocky before. This time, the giveaway progressed smoothly. Flowing real good. This year, Barry created controversy himself with a racially charged comment. When asked about who provides the money for the turkeys, he said he wouldn't say. As far as people or companies giving money to elected officials, Barry stated the only ones who care about that are liberal white people. This is about white liberals are the ones who are who, who raises questions about who's, who's uh, paying, et cetera. But today, Barry offered up the roster of donors readily. I said it's on the sign. It's on the sign out there. It's process on the sign. A banner in front of the Union Temple Baptist Church enumerates a list of apparent donors. I think he's doing a very fabulous job. Barry also says this year's giveaway was the biggest and busiest ever. It helps me out a whole lot for Thanksgiving dinner. I'm having hard times right now. In the past, there have been turkey giveaways where the truck with the turkeys didn't arrive, and there have been disputes in the past over payment for the turkeys. So all in all, today's giveaway did go fairly well. However, they did run out of turkeys about an hour early, so a number of people showed up and then had to leave empty-handed. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.